Hi everyone, it's Amy, and I'm back with episode 13 in the Vintage Made Modern series. This episode talks about the chapter that is December. And what I love about December is the theme of this chapter is a thimble full of kindliness. And I'm going to start out by telling you about the modern notion and what I talk about in this essay. In this essay, I talk about the traditions of Christmas and how those can be so meaningful during the holiday season. And one of my favorite traditions is an ornament exchange I have with friends. And in the book, it mentions that we've been doing this for 20 years. And now it's almost 30 years that this has been a tradition with my friends. So I thought I would share with you the ornament that I received the other night in the ornament exchange. This little bird, uh, I thought I'd share it partly because it looks like it's needle felted and handmade. Um, it's made with um, at wire and I think they wrapped yarn around the little legs and I noticed that this scarf may have been made um, by a little method of uh, knitting where you used to and do it on a spool and knit um, with wrapping yarn around little nails, if you guys, rem if anybody remembers that technique. I think there's modern tools for it too. So um, there you go. Thought that would be fun to share. And then moving on, I'm going to take you into the... Um, vintage essay from Mary Brooks Pickin, which is a thimble full of kindness. And I wanted to share this graphic with you. So this is one of the original illustrations off the Inspiration magazine. And I noticed the quilt on the bed, as well as this fun print on the draperies. Um, and I wanted to share the original. So here you can see um, the original inspiration uh, that we is dated 1922. Because the holiday issues are really fun, the covers, I thought I'd share a few more of them. So we have inspiration, and then remember Vintage Notions also, um, much of the content came from a magazine that was called Fashion Service. And these are two fashion service issues um, that I thought um, you'd find interesting. One with color, and let's see, this is dated, it's winter 1925 to 1926. And then this holiday number, as they call it, was 1932. Also, um, as far as the inspiration issue go, issues go, um, and fashion service, we've done the Vintage Notions monthly. And so I thought I'd share with you one of the issues, and um, this is, um, issue 24. So it was the final in the 24 magazines that we republished based on the content from the Women's Institute. So a little side note there. And now let's get back to the book. Um, I'm going to read you a little piece from the Christmas Kindliness. This was an essay by Mary Brooks Pickin. Christmas time should be wreathed in kindliness and candled with loving tenderness. The person who is of good cheer and who really enjoys Merry Christmas, it, who delights in the planning, making, buying, and tying of Christmas packages is the one who has the best happiness and the most fun. I like that. So really, the joy is in giving this time of year, and that's where we can have a lot of fun. And there's more in the chapter that talks about giving. It talks about here is um, the joy of doing things and potentially making things for um, gifts. Of all the joys to, that enter into our lives, it would be difficult to find one greater than that which brings us the exclamation, see, I made it myself. So again, the idea of making things and then those things actually in bringing the desire to do and more and further your abilities. So I another little quote that I thought was appropriate to read um, from this essay, the making of a common apron, a simple waist dress, a plain hat, besides affording joy in the accomplishment at the time, produces in us the skill needed for making more elaborate wearing apparel. So essentially it's talking about 
learning the basics and then moving on to more sophisticated projects, which was a lot of what the Women's Institute encouraged in their community of students. So that's the inspiration department. We're moving on and you'll see here we have make your gift wrappings original and artistic. And again, a beautiful recolored image here um, from the in Department of Instruction. And in this essay, they talk about, or lesson, they talk about using handkerchiefs as wrappings for gifts. Um, so I thought I'd share with you a few of my vintage Christmas handkerchiefs. And um, one of them actually was used at the beginning of this chapter. I'll show you quick. I'm going to show you kind of a variety that I have. Um, and these um, I think would be interesting if they were um, used together in some kind of um, wrapping or decorative. Um, this is a fun one with um, little wreaths and bells at the corners, okay? And this is the one that was actually used in the book. So you can see where we took the corner and we removed we removed that cute little Santa, and there he goes, dashing through the snow with his reindeer. Um, they follow up the, on a diagonal. Um, but really cute motifs on these vintage hankies for the holidays. And of course, poinsettias, our favorite flower of the holiday. I thought this was a nice um, example of a poinsettia hanky. Also some little bells. And then for the last, um, piece I'm going to show you. This is a more modern um, uh, signed hanky that has just interesting fonts combined with um, a checkerboard for, I think this would make darling fabric at some point in the future. So um, there you have some Christmas hankies. So moving on, I'm going to move into talking about, um, got to keep us gift baskets. There's a little um, a little bit of a information about gift baskets. And I was thinking too, keep in mind you can always make the basket that you're going to put the gift in. We have several basket patterns on our Indigo Junction site. Um, and then we're going to move on to Department of Cookery. One of my favorite things about Christmas is the food involved and the cookies and candies Christmas time without candy and cookies is like Easter without eggs. So there you have it. And on the background of this, we use we actually found a vintage um, blanket um, that had in the Christmas palette colors. So you see that. Um, back to kindness and thinking about that through the holidays. This little poem is a really special. Um, read and as well as the rest of the essay it was from 1921 and um be a little kinder is the theme of this i want to show you the border around this page um because i thought this fabric was just a fun um piece to share kind of an argyle pattern and so we scanned that and that ended up being the border of this page and it's actually I noticed as I was working on this, a screened back in the background too. So you can see that element when you're really observant. Um, moving on, we're gonna talk about fashion for the holidays in, in the Department of Good Looks. And um, what we have here is the idea of tinsel. Tinsel was a big part of decorating back um, in the days of Mary Brooks Picken and the Women's Institute. And I love the quote that they have here that, um, but it is in its tinsel splendor that our clothing is most closely in tune with the holiday spirit. So think about it. Think about metallic for the holidays when you're working on your wardrobe. Um, and I thought I'd share with you a piece from my holiday wardrobe last year. My mom made this coat for me. Thanks, Donna. And it is our Sophia swing coat. So this is the pattern that um, we made up in the Sophia swing coat. What you'll see here is the fabric is what we call, it's like a reproduction bark cloth. And um, I love the actual little metallic accent that we see here. So 
think of that and how much fun it is to find those fabrics that have the accent. I also was lucky enough to have the matching purse made up um, to wear. And again, this is our petite stitched purse. We actually have a really fabulous video, pattern review video about all the options for making up this bag. So make sure you check the Indigo Junction channel to look for the video about this bag. Um, so there are some ideas for holiday sewing, making something for yourself maybe to wear, but of course you're also wanting to make things as gifts. And that's where we turn to next in the chapter. Um, and that is called the art, the fine art of giving. And the fun thing about this, um, department of sewing feature is there are little poems that can be, go along with these as you give gifts. There's a really cute one about pin cushions. I'm not going to read it to you. Um, if you have the book, check it out and think about all of the different ideas for gifts and many of them are very modern in their um, styling. So, um, and then of course you have holiday decorating to think about in this chapter. And again, the fabric here was actually a vintage bark cloth, um, similar to this type print that was in the Christmas themed colors. The magic pattern, this one can be maybe something you can make for your holiday fashion. And I'm gonna lean over so you can see it back here. So this is the circular cape, the popular circular cape. And we did it in a velvet. It could be really wonderful, made up in a new, maybe one of those cuddle um, faux fur fabrics. And um, I also wanna take a minute to tell you a little bit about um, a final note from Mary Brooks Picken. And I'm gonna read to you that, and then I'm gonna switch gears and show you a few Indigo Junction patterns, okay? So here we go. This is Mary's wishes for us this season. May your Christmas deeds mean one more step toward the time when turn, turn, turmoil will vanish and peace increase. And may Christmas fill you with determination to make the best of your daily trials that beset you, with gratefulness for your opportunity to serve and with the happiness that comes from serving. So again, kindliness and serving others. So on to a couple Indigo Junction patterns. First, I'm gonna start out with the star that you see here. This is one of our Fabra Flare patterns called our Tree Topper, and we made it out of upcycled men's ties. Next up, I wanna share with you a few holiday um, decoration doll patterns that we have. First off is our Yo-Yo um, Elf, and here he is, if any of you have know about Elf on the Shelf. This is the guy you can make and have your very own personalized Elf on a Shelf. Um, there he is. So we also have an upcycling pattern for a Santa and it also comes with an Elf. And here you go, here he is. And he's made, this guy is actually made out of recycled cashmere sweater. I wanna show you his little feet, his dangly legs and his little feet. Um, and this is his little friend, the elf. Um, and again, really fun, cute pattern for upcycling and recycling. Um, and that name of that pattern is the Upcycled Santa and Elf. So, couple ideas there. One more to share with you. I don't know if you've seen out in the stores, but more and more, I'm seeing how gnomes are such a popular holiday pattern or holiday decoration out there. And we have a pattern that's um, for making gnomes. Um, and the fun thing about this pattern is you can personalize it for a team. And what we did here is to upcycle uh, like a rugby shirt or a sweater in team colors and then make this um, fun little gnome. And here he is in, we converted the same pattern into the Santa. So, um, and there also actually is an ornament that comes along in um, our gnome pattern. And let's see, do I have that? I do. So, and this little guy, we can just hang on a tree. 
So I'm gonna wrap up there and um, wish everybody happy holidays. Um, Santa does too. And thanks for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you again when we have our next episode of Vintage Made Modern. Stay tuned. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our newsletters and visit us over on Instagram too. Thanks for watching.